knew there had to be one in here. That's what we're after, team. That was on the fast retrieve, too. Oh, good fish, good fish. Welcome back to another video, everyone. Hope everyone's well. Um, I'm just putting around trying to find some kingy sign on a on a bit of reef at the moment. Um, I actually punched out here really quickly with one of the boys last night and we dropped a few jigs. Um, hooked up every every drop. Quite a few rats but had to pick through the rats and got a couple of good fish. Um, got a little weather window this morning so I thought I'd quickly boost out and bring the camera out and uh, see if we could put a few kingies on the board for you guys. Um, had Just had one quick drop now and just got a kingie, it was probably just under size. Um, the, the sign's kind of a little bit scattered at the moment, but um, we're just coming into a bit now, a bit of bait sign. What are we on? We're in 51 meters, a bit of bait sign down the bottom there. It's a really overcast day, it was actually raining on the way out, I kind of just punched out to the end of this storm, I think it's kind of going that way, but we'll stay out here and put some time and effort into this while, um, while the wind's not up, it is supposed to get up a bit later, but um, yeah, let's drop some jigs and see if we can get some fish on the board, eh? Alright, let's rumble team, just coming up on a big, thick bit of sign now, I'm not sure if it's kingy sign or not, but we'll drop on it. This reef we're on here holds so many different fish, you'll get Kingies, Snapper, Cherokee, Trevally, the odd Marlin gets caught here. Massive Marlin got caught here last year actually. And there were guys towing lures across here last night. Alright, let's go. Oh, there we go. Didn't piss around. They're not huge because they're not squealing drag straight off the get go, but uh, this one's holding a little bit of weight, but not really doing much. Here it comes. I think it's quite small. But still fishing, foul hooked. Quite small. Now you're going to go psycho. Don't do it, don't do it. Sorry mate. Go and get your granddad. Tell him I'm looking for a sign everywhere. Chopping again. This is what it was like last night, but bigger fish, but honestly, get three wines, get to the bottom three wines up and you're on, or You'd watch the sounder and watch the fish chase your jig down on the sounder and you wouldn't even get all the way down. There was a hit there. You wouldn't even get all the way down and then you'd just turn it around, stop the jig and start jigging and you'd be on straight away. So that's not, not a big fish again, but still plenty of fun. But yeah, as I said, we'll work through them today and see if we can pull a few fish out. Yes, mate. Yes, yeah, mate. Just going to drop a slow jig down onto this sign here. It's 
kind of holding off the edge of a drop off, might be a bit of snapper sign or something. Hoping for a big snapper down the bottom somewhere. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, we on. We on. Oh, it feels like a little kingy though. This reel's only got like 5kg of max drag, so. So we could be here a while. It's down the bottom. I don't know. They're greedy though, these things. I love to eat. There we go. Cheers for the scrap, little guy. Have a good day. Did a bigger kind of jig action, I guess. Knew there had to be one in here. Good to connect to one and it'll actually be a proper solid one too by the, by the feel of it. Oh, I got them turned a bit now. was a proper kingy guys oh I thought I'd got him turned and he was buggered oh, that was a good fish look at that that is so solid that is heavy that was a good fish that is so disappointing standard A eh? don't want the little ones but Smash the big ones, we'll take that home, we'll get some pullets off that. Oh. oh, that's disappointing. Oh. Damn it. 
Come on, another big dog. team. This one's actually alright. One for the bin. One for the bin. That's the first size one, that's a whole fish. But it's going back in the drink. Looks like there's a few fish around, maybe it's starting to pick up, so let's drop another jig. I might just turn around a bit, just kind of coming off that sign. Alright team, I got a bit over chasing rat kingies, couldn't find any other big ones. Um, I've just pushed back in for a bit of a soft bait. Uh, we'll see how this goes after the cyclone. The soft baiting's been pretty rubbish. Well no, not the soft baiting, just Fishing in close has been really rubbish, it's like really slow. Had a little bit of a soft bait last night, didn't even get a bite. But we'll see how we go anyway, and then um, we'll get back home. I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll fill it up that kingy, that one that's been sharked, um, and we'll make some kingfish sushi for dinner tonight, so that'll be mean. That's what we're after, team. That was on the fast retrieve, too. Oh, good fish, good fish. Wow, I was pretty much giving up and was <laughs> bringing that back to the boat. Oh, this is a good fish. This is a good fish. Right in the shallows, we're in five meters of water. It's gonna go again. Right through, look how far off the rocks we are. I know it's hard to tell on the GoPro, but we're about 15 meters off the rocks. Just slowly cruising down the coast. And he smashed that well, it was moving quite quick. Oh, nice snap. Here, look at that. That's a nice fish, team. Oh, get the net, get the net. He's not giving up. <sighs> Haven't caught a good fish through this area in a while, so it's good to get one. Not a monster, but it's a netter. Woo! Oh, and he said it was slow through the shallows. And we're on. <sighs> Oh, my favorite color. Nice snap. Yew. Oh, redemption from the sharking, eh? Woohoo! All right, I'll just prop you guys up here and I'll uh, I'll get this out. Let's see. Oh. Here we go. Hee <laughs> hee! Oh, nothing too huge, but man, they go so hard in the shallows, eh? Look at that. Run that past the screen. Oh. Haven't caught a good fish through this area in ages. Look at his teeth, ground right down.
How good? How good? Oh, that's pretty standard through this area. That was like the perfect drift. Set out just off the coast and drifted down, but not a touch through that whole area until I got that fish there. And I was literally winding my soft bait back to the boat and he smashed that. It just shows like, you know, a quick retrieve, they'll still hit it. I mean, they're still really fast fish. Um, and because it's shallow through here, I mean, they're only coming up off the bottom two or three meters to hit it. But yeah, usually super slow through this area. And if I ever get a fish that's like one or two semi good fish, you know, like solid panties through to something like that. That was about, I don't know, 10, 11 pound. Um, not huge, bought really well, but I mean, they always do through here. They pull a lot of string in the shallows. But yeah, haven't had a hit since. We're currently, yeah, same, same bit, five meters. Usually get a few panties through this area, but as I said, it's been, it's been really slow since the cyclone came through. I think it's, I don't even know why, the fish might have all just pushed out real deep for the cyclone because of the, the, um, the big waves and stuff and then, I don't know, haven't made their way back in, I don't know, but um, managed to get one good one there, so happy with that. Put it back, it's actually after a feed, but it's a bit big for feeding, I reckon, that fish. Anyway, we'll carry on drifting down through here. I'm about to, I don't know, I'm about 50 metres away from some rocks, so we'll get right up to the rocks and then we'll, uh, what do we call it a day? Head back in, Saturday morning still. Catch up with the missus, have a coffee, clean the boat, pull up these fish and, uh, yeah, make some sushi for dinner tonight. Honestly, sometimes through these areas, the snaps hit so hard in the shallows that you like go, oh, oh, and you think it's a rock, and then it takes off. That one just snapped me off, so. We'll call that a day, people. Not bad. Would have been a bloody good day if that kingy didn't come up in half. Would have been a good kingy and a nice snap. It's a good day. That's what I call a real good day. Um, but anyway, we'll punch in. I'll either see you when a filleting fish or I'll see you when we're uh, prepping some sushi. All right, people, we're on here. So I've just got some sushi rice. I was going to make full, like, um, sushi in the, what do you call it, seaweed rolls, but um, there's no avocados around and being post-cyclone, you know, we're short of certain things and small town business, if there's no avocados at the four square, there's no avocados, so... It's really disappointing but so what we're just going to do is we're going to um, i've made some rice balls like that don't ask me to pick them up because chances are they're going to fall over but um we're trying our best with what we've got um here's some kingy i prepared earlier just let me chuck this on my melon real quick nothing too crazy but we're doing it So that's just been cut up and chilled. So that, boom, boom. And it's not dinner, this is actually Sunday lunch. Boom, boom. Some nice bits, thick bits, boom. You gotta make, make the noise, boom. QP mayo squiggles. Like that. I don't know if this is going to be quite as pretty, guys. Plus, it's a bit strong, so you don't want too much of this stuff. Maybe I'll just drippity drippity that one. Oh, yeah, that's the one, maybe. Just like that. Nothing too crazy. This is dish number one. Might even do another dish for you later, but get all that so there we have it kingfish sushi for lunch nice. all right team i'm gonna use a fork because i think it's actually gonna fall to bits but not bad for a little little lunch sushi The 
sandwich is super tender. So what I did is I cut it up yesterday, thinly, and just wrapped it in um, blade wrap and put it in the fridge overnight. And it's super tender and super nice. That is actually really good. I haven't made any sushi like this before. I haven't been catching any kangies, but I've been wanting to make some sushi. That's good. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to go get some fresh chilies out of the garden and make some ceviche. Just um, finally cut up some chilies and put some lime juice in there and put some thinly sliced kingfish in that. And uh, I'll show you that and we might have a taste of that later on. So I'm going to eat these. Might give Jane one if she's lucky. She's behind Thank the you. camera. Um, and yeah, we'll catch you in a bit. Alright, the gardens had a little bit of a hiding since the uh, cyclone, but from out up in the window I could see a couple of the chilies are going hard, so well, we probably don't need one that big, but we'll take them because they're, they're red. Another one down there. The capsicums are still going strong, they've had a hiding, like look at all of this, they're done. Anyway, there's three good chilies, let's go make a ceviche. Alright, this one's pretty easy people, we're just going to cut this relatively thinly. because it's going to be spicy. All right, put that into a container. Now, <clears throat> Peppy, because you're sitting there and I know you like fish, that one's for you, be gentle. Oh, that's very gentle. Um, chili from the garden. I'll take that green bit off. Slicely, slicely thin it, thinly slice it. What I do is, because I'm a bit of a pussy, I like to um, cut it and actually take out the seeds because I can't handle, I like a little bit of spice but I can't handle a lot of it so the seeds are no good for, for me because I'm a bit of a softy. Um, so I get rid of the seeds. So I'll just go those bits of chili in there like that. A couple of seeds in there and there. And then grab a lemon. Just grew that one in the garden, as you can see. I'm trying to keep my fingers out of there because they're cut. And then just squeeze some lemon in there. And obviously the lemon's going to cook the fish with the chilli in it. And it's going to be tasty. Probably got a whole lemon. So what I can do is, as well as if I eat all this and I want some more, I can just cut up some more and put some more fish in here later on. I definitely don't want to get the lemon in my fingers. All right, and then what we might actually do. Cut up a couple of bits of red onion. Just for flavor. Chuck those in there. Put the lid on. Give it a bit of a shaky, shaky. Get it all covered and that'll cook. And then I'll just leave that in the fridge. Might need a little bit more lemon. And then every so often I'll go into the fridge and I'll give it another shake and cover it all with the lemon. Get the chili moving around, get the onion moving across it all and, and that'll just slowly cook it in there. So we'll uh, chuck that in the fridge and have a look at it later. Alright people, that's been in the fridge for only about an hour and I reckon that's done, eh? So you can see the lemon has cooked through the fish pretty well. I'll give it a taste. It's good. It's really good. I've actually decided I like making this rather than the ikimata, which is with the, um, the coconut cream and all that stuff. This is just so quick and easy. Just some lemon, some chili, and some onion. Even if you just go lemon, it's pretty good. Lemon and pepper or something like that. But um, no. Nah. It's really good. All right. I'm going to eat that and probably make some more because I've got that much kingy to get through. All right. I'm going to eat the rest of this. I'll leave you guys to it. Thanks again for watching. Um, catch you on the next episode next week. Uh, leave us a comment, let us know what you thought of the video, give it a like, subscribe if you will. Cheers guys, see you on the next one eh.